This week we are only halfway through it and it is already undisputed. This is Wrestle Round and we are here to update you on all things pro wrestling, providing you with today's uh, top 5 of wrestling news. To never miss an update, make sure to subscribe, have those notifications turned on, and let's get right into it. We gotta start this wrestle round talking about AEW Dynamite as it brought us a couple of shockers. Kyle O'Reilly is officially O Elite. Yes, Kyle O'Reilly, who was just an NXT 2.0 last week. He showed up at the beginning of the show helping out Adam Cole defeat Orange Cassidy. And then after the match, alongside Adam Cole and Bobby Fish, they took out the best friends. The storyline that's gonna be brewing between all of these guys is gonna be very interesting because now. Adam Cole is in the middle of all of this and he might have to pick a side. Is it going to be O Elite or is it going to be Undisputed? Anyways, this was obviously a huge shocker and I'm wondering how the hell did WWE let this happen? In a span of three months, they managed to get all of the original three members of one of the best factions that we have gotten in the last decade. Somebody check on Triple H, I'm pretty sure he's crying right now. That's literally all that I could think of. A Triple H has been building so many talents so many great things such as the undisputed era but then those with higher powers than him ultimately let things like this happen some of the big highlight coming out of AEW dynamite the rematch between AEW world champion Hamman adam page and brian danielson will be taking place on january 5th episode they obviously stacking this show up as it is going to be the first show on the tbs network it's also worth talking about that main event because it was awesome sting darby Allen and even CM Punk has some awesome face paint. There was a scary moment in it with MJF taking a massive bump landing on his head. I don't even want to be reminded of, but the good thing is that he is okay. He finished the match, everything seems to be okay, and even talked trash after losing it. Our next big report is a continuation of what we discussed before, of another potential shot down coming up, and WWE preparing for it just in case they gotta return to the Thunderdome. And it seems like things are getting a little bit worse right now with a PW Insider reporting that a number of talents and WWE staff were feeling run down coming out of this past weekend and some have since tested positive for COVID-19. Others are feeling sick and waiting for their test results to, to come back. And because of all of this outbreak, WWE has been forced to make some extra changes. PW Insider added that WWE currently plans to run all of their US shows next week using alternate lineups and even filling in with NXT talent if it is necessary. The hope is that even if talents can work the holiday tour, they will be clear by the day one pay-per-view. It's worth mentioning that SmackDown was already taped, so that's not going to be affected for this upcoming week show. Adding to that report, WWE did cancel a live event that was supposed to go down on December 30 in Canada. That was more due to the current restrictions that they are having and if things continue to get worse we might end up back in the thunderdome can never go wrong with wrestlers firing back at Twitter trolls. And this time around, we had someone telling Ali that he needs to work on promos or an interesting character because we already get it, you have a good work rate. Which Ali responded on, work on that? When it comes to that, I'm almost too good. Mia Yim actually charmed in on the defense of Ali, stating the following. Ah oh, yes, a cartoon PFP giving you the in-ring talent in-ring advice. To light up the mood, Roman Reigns had a hilarious response to a fan saying that he loved him in Aquaman. I'm certain that Roman Reigns gets the Jason Momoa comparison quite a bit and he nailed this response during a live event mid-matchup. That if he was the one in the movie, it actually would have made more money. Uh. Roman, I loved you in Aquaman! <laughs> Ha ha ha!
Before getting into our last report of the day, I want to let you guys know that to celebrate the launch of the channel, we're still running a competition and giving you guys the opportunity to win a WWE shop or a W shop $50 gift card. To enter, all you got to do is make sure to be subscribed with those notifications turned on. Drop a like and leave a comment down below who do you think is going to win this upcoming year's Royal Rumble. We will be picking the winner just in two weeks time. The last report we are talking about is in regards to Johnny Gargano and when he he could be showing up on AEW. There's definitely a lot of questions right now on whether or not he is going to wrestle anytime soon and make it return already. But one thing known is that he is a free agent with no 90 non-compete clause. And according to Dave Meltzer on the Wrestling Observer Radio, Johnny Gargano could be making his AEW debut when Dynamite takes place in Cleveland on January 26. A lot of this speculation slash rumors is due to the fact that Johnny Gargano continued to tease the fact that he wants to face the like of Kenny Omega and many more AEW superstars. So it almost feels like he will end up on AEW, even if it is just for a couple of matches before maybe heading back to WWE if that is what he wants or to officially make a final decision on what is next for him. Johnny Gargano did state that he will work wherever the fans call for him to work and that all you gotta do is be loud enough so if you want him on aew all we gotta do is hijack the show and chant johnny gargano johnny wrestling during the whole wednesday night with all of that said uh, thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe if you haven't and turn on those notifications as wrestle round will continue to keep you updated on all things pro wrestling you guys stay savage and i'll catch you on the next one